Hey YouTube, SciGuy29 coming at you from the Cardboard Pub here in my basement. And it's time for episode 11 of Crafts and Cards. So glad you joined us tonight. Glad for stopping in. Thanks for stopping in. Grabbing a beer. Got a little Phil Vassar on the jukebox. Uh, and tonight we've got another Iowa beer. I'm kind of on an Iowa beer kick here. And this one uh, is called Swift. And as you can see, it's a hoppy session ale. Um, not overly hoppy, but hoppy nonetheless. For those that don't know, a session ale, lower percentage ABV. This one comes in at 4%. You can drink them for many of them over a period of time. Okay, so let's go ahead and crack this boy open. Uh, great sound. Uh, going with our Leinen Kugels glass tonight. Uh, mixing things up a little bit. Pour it out. It's going to look pretty much like any other beer you see. Definitely isn't going to taste like any other beer you see. Now it's a full pint. Another thing I like about the cans. This brewery is in Waterloo. Uh, it also has a tap room in Cedar Falls, which is in north central, northeast central Iowa kind of area. And uh, it's kind of nice because my daughter lives in Cedar Falls and she's only about two and a half, three blocks from the tap room. So it's kind of nice. I can sit and get there occasionally. So um, get a drink and we'll get started. That's good. Put that right there. Little lineys. Do the do our light challenge. Can't quite get it today, can we? Nope. A little haze there. That's all right. So cards. Um, going with somebody who I think is pretty swift. Uh, swiftly came up. Um, ooh, probably my favorite. That is my dog, and I apologize. Go sit down. Go. She doesn't like it when I do videos, but my wife's gone, so she's down here with me. Um, as I was saying, probably my favorite player right now, currently playing. I just love his game. I uh, love the way he approaches it. Always seems to be having some fun. And that is one Mr. Juan Soto, world champion from a year ago. Nothing big, nothing high dollar by any stretch of the imagination because some of his stuff can go crazy, and rightfully so, um, to some extent. I'm not a huge modern guy, as most of you probably know by now, but... Uh, I still enjoy it, still love to watch, uh, find those players. This is somebody I'm not truly investing in. I don't typically do that. He's just a player that I enjoy watching. So when I find stuff that I can afford, I pick it up. Now everything here today in the regular card variety uh, is gonna be, was a dollar, dollar fifty maybe. Then I've got one at the end, which was a little bit more than that, but not nearly as much as I thought I'd pay for it. So I'm gonna start off with a 2020 Gypsy Queen with the blue jersey. Absolutely love Gypsy Queen, I just do. Uh, it's kind of the art card going back. Uh, a little bit of my vintage action, I guess. Another Gypsy Queen, 2019. Okay, see that pose a lot. Get that glare off my, cover my face, that looks better. Uh, then we have a Turkey Red out of Tops. I just love the Turkey Red, once again, that retro feel. Obviously a famous set in the hobby for those that haven't seen it. There's the back Just love that insert uh, Something a little shinier uh, tops chrome Okay, and uh, Jukebox went to a commercial of course Like the like the Juan Soto um, Here we go. This is in the zone. I believe this is from Diamond Kings can't swear to it, but I think that's what it is. Yep, Diamond King. All right, look at that. Um, a 19, Juan Soto with the Rookie Cup. I love the vertical cards. I just do. I always have. It's one of the things I love so much about 55, 56, Tops, 55, Bowman. Uh, just really enjoy it. Uh, here we have a cool card. And here's that common pose with Juan Soto. I love the jersey. Uh, kind of patriotic jersey. It's a nice thick card, as you can see. A um, couple Bowman Platinum. Uh, start here. Oops, get that a little closer for you. A little shine, a little glare to you for the back. I have another Bowman Platinum. Oops, about dropped it. See a little, love the rainbow refractor look. 
So then the last one I have, uh, like I said, is probably, well, definitely for me, was a little more expensive than that one. I have three or four of these raw, uh, but this is a 2018 Topps Update uh, Juan Soto, number 104. It's a mint nine. One of the few modern graded card or graded cards that I have. So, um, like I said, kind of a hard tie tie in here with the Swift. I was going to look for a bunch of uh, base stealers from the past, go into my '70s and '80s cards, and pull out some guys like Willie Wilson, Davey Lopes, uh, Vince Coleman, Willie McGee, Lonnie Smith, guys like that. But I didn't. I guess my dog's telling me it's time to go. So I'm glad you joined me. Come again. Cheers.